What's up y'all? It's me Tasha C and this particular video I will be reviewing recapping Black Ink Crew Chicago I'm Ag, Season 3 Episode 17. Um sorry if any of y'all are paying attention, I kinda sound, you know, like I ain't gonna lie, after seeing the last couple minutes of the episode, shout out to my YouTube fam. Uh, you know, I I ain't gonna lie, I had to shed a couple tears. Condolences to Don and his family. And, you know, just seeing that, not only was sad seeing that, but dealing with, you know, things such as mental illness and, you know, family, you know, family members that de dealt with that, even though the grace of God, they're still here, but just, just or just knowing friends or uh, friends of them, I'm sorry, y'all, that just, that was really emotional, I wasn't expecting to see that, but let, let God rest his soul, but just dealing with that, and, and, um, you know, like I said, you, you know, mental illness is real, and, you know, it does happen, probably most of modern our families, in, Unfortunately, that's also the reason why, to be real, and I know this, I'm sorry this is a little rant, but that's why my grandfather, my mom's side is not here, because he killed himself. So, um, it, it just was really sad to see, you know, this and this happening, uh, and just, it just, I just, it's one of those times I just had a moment, and, uh, so let's get into the review. I usually kind of talk about sort of source origin, especially I want to get to the bad stuff. So the season finale is next week, and again, which if you already know, Rachel's probably is still probably with Ryan. I haven't looked in the last couple weeks or so, but it's like I think Kat did go back to LA. I think it's Ashley Miller, who also does reviews on this as well, shout out to her. Um, that. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all, I'm just, but, um, let's get into that first. First, we have a scene where Kat, you know, they picked up back where they left off, they picked up where Kat was telling Ryan about confronting him about, um, the, L you know, like, basically, like, you know, the whole thing between them, what happened, also, blah, 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 and it's actually the same scene, and then just kind of just, and Kat is just like, man, after Ryan ends up leaving, and Ryan's like, you know, I don't know why she would be here, she ain't longer at the shop, blah, 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 and everybody, when Ryan leaves, basically, like, you know, it's a Coco, because like I said, Coco was there, she seemed like she made guest parents, and it has not said anything, you know, too much, it seemed like ever since Velvet, we, she hasn't really, and you know, that last episode, when, you know, um, we have, she hasn't really been talking that much, so, um, they were just, you know, Kat was like, basically, she's done with this shit, and, you know, she's even done with the shop, but Van was able to convince her to come into the shop, you know, come to the shop and tattoo where, you know, you have these men who have lost their kids, uh, both lost their sons to tragedy, one man wants, um, I know one of the men's with Tramp, uh, Tra uh, Tra uh, Tra Mount, his father, and also another man, I think his son name is Trey, Trey, okay, like I said, I don't think, I'm not trying to be rude or anything, and that's a shame how many darn young black men and women, you know, so forth, and people innocent lives been killed that you don't even know, I mean, a little forgiving, but th that's just sad, but, um, they had that band kind of convinced, you know, they were just talking about the family not yet mad, building up, and it spills us to lift up to each other and, you know, the black owners, the community, and everything, band, you know, Kat talking about, you know, what's going on. And here's Kat, like, how, you know, the professionals are true. Like, you have this real world that's going on, and we're talking about basically petty shit. And so, they do these tattoos, both rounds. One, the Trey Robert Martin one was like, he had a son, and he was like, you know, basically like the King Tut. I know speak of like the King Tut type of thing inside on his back, one part of his back, upper back. Um, I think it was the right side, and the other man had it, like, on, you know, left side of their heart, like, it was a symbol, this tray, and then had a heart, but it was the shape of a rose, a rose-shaped heart, um, and the witch cat tatted, so both of them had tatted, and, again, um, I want to just get this out the way, like, towards the, um, towards the end. Unfortunately, 
um, Don gets a phone call at the end of the episode. They call looking for him. Because already Don on off of them episodes, like, he just want peace. Or he want to be in that drama with Kat and, uh, and um, you know, the Cat and Ryan bullshit. And he's worried about, concerned about his sister. And so I thought, based on what uh, Don was saying, she was still in the hospital. And I first thought that when they were speaking to him, like, at 6 a.m., I thought maybe she maybe was trying to do a suicidal attempt and maybe she was a suicidal, you know, like suicide watch or something, you know, being watched and everything was taken away. But no, um, unfortunately, they found her body. The poor, uh, God rest his soul, says, unfortunately, um, Don's sister um, committed suicide and they found her body. So I guess for so. You know, at that time, Ashley was there and Ford was there to cover it. Just, it just was sad at the end, and they showed, you know, a thing at the end about, you know, if, you know, you have problems, a number to call. And it was just, like I said, just very sad. And condolences to the fact, I, I just, you know, and Don, of course, was saying, he was showing pictures of her through her life, and, you know, how Don was just saying she was God's angel, stuff like that. But, I, I, like I said, that that is very sad. And, um... And you don't know where people, you know, is going through and stuff. But like I said, I just, I, I whew, that, oof. But anyways, y'all, let's get into the rest of the episode. Now, we have Don, which, speaking of Don, um, he's going to pick up his baby, you know, his daughter. And Whitney, it was somebody was telling him, like, oh, he pulling up in a Vans truck, blah, blah, blah. And... You know, she was all like, what? What do you mean he pulling up in the vans? Woo, 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 whatever. Uh, when he ain't have paid no bills. So when he was going to get go in the side of with his baby, I think he has one of his other brothers to find or somebody that was with him. Um, she liked this, like, you know, you haven't been paying. You know, no, it's not your week to come get her. And he's like, yes, it is. But she trying to claim both of all. They are kind of bad boy, boy. Blue girl's already mad. Like, daddy, you bad. Because I guess she's seeing her parents. And Whitney's mom is like, you know, don't just tone y'all voices down because y'all Art for him. Don end up about, you know what, let me just go on and go. He sits there, the, somebody lets, I guess, either Whitney or, or her mama went and let at least him hug the baby before he went. You know, she did come to her daddy and hug him and stuff like that. And then we have another scene where you see Ice Cream Day with Ashley and their son. And he talked about, because she, like I said, Ashley didn't know, what about where the baby wasn't there? Why was the baby not there? And, of course, um, he explained the story. And surprisingly, Ashley, because he was like, you know, I'm going to take it to the courts. And she's like, no, just talk now. No, you may not like what you said, but y'all can probably handle these differences. Which I'm like, maybe, um, which I'm like, kind of a certain point. I understand what Ashley is coming from. Because even uh, Don is like, well, uh, maybe it must be the hormones or something like that or whatever. Because I don't, but this is usually not Ashley's answer. But if she was going to keep giving him problems about seeing the child because of what the car would, or, you know, just for petty reasons. Uh, yeah, then he should, you know, go on the court and do the visitation, you know, get them, you know, uh, the court get the visitation thing straight now. And so, um, we have, like I said, we'll, uh, like, uh, towards the last scene. And the last scene before, unfortunately, when uh, Don got that, you know, that before tragic news, um, uh, Whitney pulls up, and I guess for him, they have, like, a barbecue, whatever, and Whitney pulls up, and she realizes, like, you know, we just need to learn how to co-parent, and she felt like, you know, basically, like, let, here, here's a little, let, let, let us be the weekend over here, blah, blah, blah. She's basically starting to realize, like, you know, we don't have to do that. Basically, I went down, and, you know, so here you go, and they kind of, you know, dab, dab, or whatever, and then she left. Then Ashley, seemed like she came, like, the way it was edited, like, two seconds later, and she came to the corner and was like, oh, I see the girl is here, but it's, it made it seem like, okay, on cue that she came, and, you know, and then later around dark nighttime, that's when we get this phone call, the last scene of the night. Now, we got, again, the roller coaster, like I said, we have the roller coaster, Ryan. Ryan wasn't really in this episode, like I said, uh, whatever, too. By the way, I also wanted to mention, like, you know, how I, like I said, was confused, and a couple of us that review the show and probably people watch the show, whatever, like, why are, are they keep saying, like, Cat stays in the shop, whatever, and kind of coming is that, you know, coming, at, uh, come off now as they're also part owners as well or something, and, but 
you know, we were first thought that since the first season that Ryan is the owner of the shop. And I'm trying to, I don't have memory per word. I got my phone on charge. Um, but shout outs to, I think her name is Kanisha Charles. She is saying, <laughs> same name as my niece, Kanisha. Um, that she was saying in details, they had interviews before about this. I've never seen any interviews. And like I said, I've been stopped watching after Buzz Beat TV. But she basically was saying like all of them like do pay rent for the place where they start off together or something like that. And Ryan went behind their back and got an LLC. Am I correct with that terminology and stuff like that? So basically they all came in where as if they all were quote, quote owners. And then he went ahead and basically was like, bam, bitches, I'm the owner. <laughs> Fuck this, <laughs> it's whatever. So, um, like I said, Brian was in the episode, but he wasn't in the episodes. Um, because we seen another scene that he came, and it was actually when Kat already did the tattoos, whatever, because she's been looking at, he's been looking at people's, they Instagram, Van's Instagram, and he was checking them again. Everybody was at the shop, you know, one of them, to, everybody had a red cup, and Ryan again was talking about, I don't want her here, blah, 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 you all still got her here, blah, blah, blah. And apparently that must mean that Ryan still is recovering, even though he decided to conveniently take off his damn cast and shit. He still is not at the damn shop, okay? Because they're talking in Van and him almost look face to face. And in the ep like towards the end of the episode, it uh, I mean towards the end of that scene, Van looked like he shook the camera, knocked it out of the way because they were in each other's faces and four kind of like trying to fuse. Like I don't know if they actually had a fight or kind of just got you know heavy, you know, you know I know what you have for lunch type of rip, like in each other's faces down there, but they didn't get no fight or not or whatever, because when I, I, last time I checked, maybe I went too far away, but the next scene, it was a total different day, okay, but they got out of me again about, you know, man, it's like, you no, know, she's staying, there. I was like, no, she, come on, stay, and Ryan's like, I don't want to hear, I don't want to hear, because, you know, Char Charmaine was like, the only reason why you have a problem with Cat being here is everything that has went down, um, and, you know, whatever, and because you, in the Rachel situation, and Ryan's basically just like, you know, I don't, you know, like, I don't, uh, whatever, I already told my truth, and it's like, yeah, I mean, you did kiss her, I mean, you kissed her cat plenty of times, based on what she says, so you were right about that one, uh, other than that, like, you know, y'all just say it didn't take two, and they're like, yeah, but, you know, like I said, cat didn't have to get involved with that, she didn't have to have to expose anything, whatever, as well, but, it is out now and whatever, and it's still in the end. Seemed like it didn't matter anyway because Rachel, I think, is still with Ryan, so it didn't matter. So you know, I don't know if Cat was even the only one he was with any damn way, and if he's still, like I said, if he's trying to only make it out with Rachel because he loves her or he got love for her because, like I said, that's the mother of his child, and and you know, like you know, you know, I, I, we try to hold on because we had history and because we have kids, keep kids and children, okay. But let's see how long this lasts. Or, or y'all, like, maybe if, if some of us even care or even give us, uh, actually give a, a F or what about this, maybe some of us can look at maybe the Instagram or see a year from now or if next season when they come, is him and Rachel going to be together or is it going to be another? They may not be cat, of course, buddy. But is it going to be another girl who pops? Because like I said, the cat thing just went out, but it seemed like they erased it, the whole thing with this other girl's opposed to Freda Ryan. Because Ryan was on Bangle was like, uh, and no, uh, that story's not true. But that story was the one that seemed like they really got into uh, was part of the reason why this he had a heart attack. Okay. Then on top of that, um, like I said, somebody I forgot what I think I think her name was Ryan Ryan Riri Harris. She was also bringing an interesting point. One of the things I remember she said was about, you know, why um Danielle, like I said, is a fake ass friend, and also the fact that people forgotten. And they put on the rug like Danielle was not fooling around Ryan too. And it's questionable was he with Charmaine too? Remember he was paying her car no shit. Remember she was simply broke, having one of those points with a lot. She was going on financially, you know, you know, having financially challenged uh, times. And you know, so we don't. That's questionable there. But Danielle was all saying I could have sworn the first season one talking about her vagina below to uh, um to uh Ryan. But now she's making it seem like the only man she's ever been with as far as sexually wise, romantic wise, whatever, has and has been only boyfriend is Mr. Tyrell, okay, Tyrell, whatever, uh, so, okay, because it was like, like I said, they just kind of just exit completely out, um, that they were even involved, okay, so, all right, mm -hmm. so, like I said, he get, like I said, they get mad, whatever, not like I said, I don't think we see Ryan no more for the rest of the episode, 
And so now we got this big thing coming up. Now, Ford, remember, was telling us, like, he didn't want no kids, but he up there doing the app, and it's one of jacked up apps. You got him. He got a picture of him and Nikki on some app because she was looking at one, and he was, I think, it was on his iPad or something like that. And then you look, and you see they got a, a baby that uh, is completely a white, look like Caucasian, this child, or a very, very light, 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 light kid that looks Caucasian, but she, you know, whatever. You know, or look like the baby could pass if the baby was black. But then, <laughs> again, four is still thinking about this child, and it's like, okay, even if there's a slight chance that Nikki would get pregnant, you, she is gonna be one of them type of moms that's going to be. There's going to be basically you having a kid, and you're not having a kid because you want to have kids, with whatever. If you have, if you, if she seeks trying to make sure just because things were going, she made very clear she does not want kids anytime soon, or maybe not at all. We don't know. But because she's work because that body she's worried about making sure her body she bad she got bad or whatever. So I'm just saying is if you think about like I said if she has a baby it's gonna be a kind of thing where she gonna be leaving the baby with him most of the time. You want the baby you had blah 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 or you know it's not gonna be a connection where a bond she should have with the child that she should really have because she didn't want the baby really in the first place you know so. Um, yeah, try, nice try for her. Before I got this little dog, got what his name is, she got a remote control car, or whatever, so he can get the bitches, literally. Um, and, but that's like his little son that he don't have, because like I said, he wants, he has baby fever. Even already this woman, like I said, ruled a woman with the wind about the uh, key thing, and he still was trying to try again. So she, again, is thinks about this lingerie party, since they're having a house party, they have a nice big old, we finally got a piece of a pie, a penthouse, it is sweet, okay? And they should have a lingerie party. She's like, how we gonna have a lingerie party with a baby? And I'm thinking, like, maybe I guess she's gonna have more than that lingerie parties. Because I'm like, well, to take seven days for conception and so and blah blah blah. So I guess maybe I don't know how many weeks or whatever they would have a party. But I'm just saying. But anyways, he's letting me know. Oh, you know, like, okay, he's down with it. But he's just like, okay, uh, you know, this, you know, that's gonna be a lot of stuff going on. But he agrees to it. And she wants to, like I said, she has an Andre Park, she has all the ladies go come meet her. Except, like I said, Cobra was not there. But Jen and everybody, he, she was like, she even bought it by the cat. And I didn't see Ashley there leave, but Ashley ends up attending with Don. You know, like I said, it was the second, third, second, last scene, whatever. They go there to Andre. Who pulls up in a car, which I swear Junior and Ryan have like some of the same similar car, whatever. It's Lily. Lily's like, oh, her business and business, because they all asking, like, usually you buy, drive somebody's car to usually, you know, basically smash and stuff like that, and she's just trying to play it off, and like I said, Junior say this every other weekend, I'm done with her, blah, 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 and she's just like, her, the, her their business, their business, but it's like, it, it kind of, their business did come to play it off, the fact that when they got in a fight, like, what, two episodes ago, they got started, because she brought, you know, baby Jesus up there, uh, to the shop, okay, so, yeah, but, they trying on different, you know, lingerie, whatever, and, you know, first Nikki come out, and I think somebody else come out, I think, uh, Jen comes out, and then, you know, Kat comes in with her famous, you know, red, which I think she decided to go white and change it, and Lily's looking at her, because, you know, Lily already knows, she likes girls, I didn't know Kat, you know, likes, likes Kat as well, so, but until this episode, so, really, so, she, but Lily was the one saying, oh, she likes her, blah, 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 you know, I already like girls, I already know she was saying that for the cro uh, Cobra as well, so, um, they have another scene where Cat, oh, like I said, oh, no, 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 I'm about to forget something, um, we got Charmaine and her man, and, you know, they're talking, whatever, she all talking about something about the wires in the wall, and he said he's taking the job off with his project, and she's like, yeah, my man is getting the man money in near twerking session necessary, and I'm surprised she didn't do that, then all of a sudden, he was like, yeah, but it's in six months in Africa, and she is like, kind of like, what the hell, and why did you take it, and why did you take it without telling me, he's like, well, we need this money, and he had the nerves or dads to say, like, you know, well, I need to get to see you starting to, to stop need to be selfish, and they did do a replay that she, and she had reminded him, like, well, what, what happened when, I, you know, like, when he came, remember he came at her, like, she don't put enough time in for work, you know, to put, you know, to make more time with him, but not only is he not gonna make more time with her, because he's like Africa, they ain't a damn street, you know, even 30 minutes away from there, he's talking about a whole nother continent, okay, continent, not even country, 
Okay, not even another suburb, not even just a city. He he talking about a whole, not even another state, y'all. Just completely needs a passport shit, okay? So he gonna go, go bye bye way yonder somewhere else for six whole months and shit like that, okay? So Charmaine is scared and paranoid. We think she gotta do something extreme to keep her man. We still don't even know yet if he even is gonna stay there, okay? So anyway, you know, stay with her or did he leave or nothing? Like I said, I don't follow the child on Instagram or like that, okay? So, but he ends up, you know, she ends up taking Kat and Danielle with her. She wants to get an engagement ring. She looks for some stuff, but she knows once she proposed to him that he was telling they all like, what the hell? And like, we be looking like, oh, okay, you think, okay, we gonna see how this gonna go, whatever. And they even like, if he sit here and be like this and put the wedding ring, they ain't gonna look at him kind of sideways, but they already kind of like, you know, get engagement ring, I'm sorry. But they already kind of like, girl, don't even do all that. I don't, you know, I understand she tried to keep a man or whatever, but if he wanted to propose to her, he would propose to his own term. But I kind of already knew, like, this was somewhere going to be an epic fail or comedy or whatever, because she's thinking that she proposed to him that he will stay. But he's already decided to take this project or whatever. So we got the party, whatever, right? Everybody, you know, most of the, everybody had their dates, you know, their lingerie, most of them, they have their robes on on top of the lingerie in and out, whatever. There was one scene where Junior, like I said, Ryan wasn't at the damn party, where Junior is talking, wait, first of all, Dago Rose Jr. talking about he was like, Ching Chong. Chong, he's like, look at that damn wool-ass ro 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 robot, he probably up there musty as hell and shit. Then all of a sudden, we see Junior and Lily talking, and it's like the same damn conversation. When she gets drunk, unless maybe he must be some good anger, sex, or whatever the case is, you know, he's all talking about, oh, let me see what you have on. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, you got that on? Mm, made out of smile on his face. And, you know, she's been like this, you know, like the, 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 the chemo dragon that she is and shit. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah. And here goes Junior again. You know, I'm sick and tired of this. And then he ended up kind of walking off from the patio or whatever. But I'm like, okay, let's see what is going to last. If he's on next season and this bitch is on here, let's see what happens. Like, Ninja, you yo you you been but you been provoked. She was even bring bring uh, the ninja that she cheated on you with to the party. You up here got it, got it. extra security, all this shit. You know, being up here got possibly could get you know caught, you know, probation and shit. Got all all that shit going on, and still you let this bitch use your car. And I wouldn't even let the bitch have one of my damn power wheels. You know the motherfuckers you sitting here just oh you know the little micro micro mini me the little damn cars and shit. Hell no. So, but that's him. But like I said, it's over every other week with them. Okay. So, he, she, when he was like, whatever. Then Charmaine is like taking those stairs. So, everybody, I don't know who gave the red cup, but that was dangerous. Everybody, everybody, I just want to make an announcement. And she comes down the stairs. It's probably she didn't fucking fall. Okay. But she like, I just wanted to tell everybody, you know, everybody about love, just like, you know what I'm saying, you know, everything has happened, something's about Kat, and, you know, she was drunk, and she just like, I want to say hi to a lovely couple of this, and I want me, come here, me, and me got on this red robe on that is giving me, you know, I want to make love to you all night long type of video, R&B, T, singer shit, and then... But she was like, you know, I just wanted to, you know, and I don't think she even says the word, will you even marry me and nothing like that. I could have sworn because she was so fucking tore up. And he just like, this like, uh, and everybody, not, everybody just, everybody just looking like, oh, hell no. Like, what the hell? The doctor's like, is this a prank? You know, it's a prank. And he doesn't say, he bluntly says to her, like, you know, I'm supposed to do that. You know, I'm going to be the one proposing there. So that, it's a no. So, and Ch Kat tried to defuse some of the situation, even though she a little, well, everybody seemed wasted too. You just seen liquor, red cups, red cups, every fucking way. And she let it be known that, you know, well, we already knew that you were going to do that. And it's a good thing he did suppose. We pray that you wouldn't accept it because we've been looking at you when you would have been doing this, whatever. But they just like, it's over, blah, blah, blah. So, girl, take that, that, take that ring back. I think it's still a, a refund, you know, before third day policy. It's all scratch a girl. Girl, just take it back. Just please take it back. So, but like I said, we still don't know if he's going to Africa or stay there or not. Like I said, like I said, I've been following her social media, so I don't know. Y'all, y'all probably tell me. Um, so there's another scene where Cat, you know, Lily were kind of like talking court a couple times, kind of being flirtatious and stuff. 
and they talking about two they were talking to girls like you know yeah this is my bitch i like her and stuff like blah blah, blah. and lily them they just <laughs> and then also i'm like one two three then you see Donna bed and four in the corner right and they just also somehow have tunnel vision towards them in the corner and they probably back and they was like come on girl 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 and all of a sudden you start seeing cat and lily make out and they're just like this and don had his hand like on almost like blocking ford's chest like like this here like he was probably considering covering up for his eyes and then he realized he's a fucking adult or something i don't know he just that and ford go on looking outside the window and shit and i'm just like what was he kind of surprised was he wishing that he could be kissing on Cat again? Or did he wish that could this be part of a threesome that he could be? I don't know what the hell he was thinking of, but he was just really looking outside the window like this. Like, I mean, you kind of just see the side of his face, but he really was looking outside the window like, what the hell's going on? Cat and Lily take off. Cat ain't got no fucking shoes on. Lily got whatever shoes she got on. They go and leave on the roads. Maybe got some Uber or Lyft or whatever. And left the fuck out of there because, she, you know, Lily's like, I got a place. You know, Lily said, did she, Lily said she got a place? So she did she move out of Cobra's place? They just kind of, like I said, they just left that completely alone, okay? But that's pretty much it. Yeah, so Cat is with Cat, but we'll find out next episode, I guess, if they are with sexually involved, because they probably left with each other, whatever. So, yeah, so... Pleasant to love everybody. Y'all have a pleasant week, pleasant night, pleasant weekend. And I definitely see y'all in the next video. But yeah, y'all, it was a lot going on this episode. Yeah, but then we got the finale where Rachel comes in the thing. And it's pretty much like basically she's going by Ryan's side. I'm like, girl, you better not be coming back. Y'all do come back next season. There's another bar I'll be talking about. I've been banging Ryan too. What you gonna do about it? That's all. But okay. <laughs>